Good evening, uh, good day people. Well, I was just checking my website and I uh, just noticed that uh, for this month is on 7th September 2015. I uh, still get a lot of downloads or hits on the Sculpted Paint and downloads, you know, on the Windows and uh, Mac here, you know, about more than 300. And I wrote uh, Sculpted Paint uh, really back in the days, in uh, 2007, uh, ages ago. And uh, mostly doesn't run anymore uh, that good. But uh, I recently checked it out again and uh, you still can run it from processing, kind of thing. And, uh, well, it's, uh, I have still the old files there uh, where you can run it. And uh, I liked it. Liked it as a tool, you know. It was sort of uh, kind of. Uh, let me see where it is. Here it is from the old days, kind of thing. And I really, what I liked about it is uh, you can sort of uh, have a 3D model and then uh, modify it around, kind of thing. And uh, fill the bit with it and then uh, sort of uh, smooth it or anything like that you know and uh, change things around so what I was thinking uh, like this is really old stuff and uh, you are you're glad to to, ma to run it again in the browser or uh, make it work anything but uh, I decided to recently to, to, to try again, kind of thing, so uh, if you go to the pixelop.org site, I just uh, added, uh, made a new tool, and this time it runs in a browser, kind of thing, without uh, the Java sh stuff and sh shit, I, I could say, and, uh, and this, this is just a uh, sort of sculpt uh, viewer. In the browser using web uh, three dot gs and uh, well basically it's it's just now a, a sculpt viewer and uh, yeah you can zoom in and out a bit and uh, scale it a bit but uh, currently it's just a sculpt viewer and. Uh, I uh, hope to, to add new tools in the near future, but uh, this time I really want to, make, to create it in a browser and uh, I can uh, show you some things about it. Um, currently it's just a sculpt viewer, that is, and uh, with our, uh, and you can, if you drag your image here and the red area you can sort of check it out and uh, check those old sculptees and stuff you can scale it a bit if you want and uh, change the sti stitching around this uh, tour shape kind of thing Uh, with a little mouse you can zoom in a bit kind of thing so you can sort of uh, drag and drop uh, your own sculptures here and, uh, and it depends also on the stitching this is a plain sculpty kind of thing like the old second life kind of sculpties you can uh, check them around um, it has also support now for oblong uh, sculptures kind of thing so like sort of sofa kind of thing uh, Put 
Let's do spare. They have to adjust uh, this more uh, oblong uh, sculpty kind of thing. And I added sort of support for different uh, types of uh, sculpties. This one is inside out, old SL thing. Uh, this one is also kind of old. 64 by 64 sculpty. But you can uh, sort of check it out and uh, check some sculptures. I have to say one thing, uh, it just now uh, sort of, it's a sculpt viewer kind of thing in the browser. If you can manage to run uh, WebGL. And, uh, I have to say some things like, it only supports like GPG or PNG in different uh, sizes. If you have like TJ, uh, it, it, it can't, uh, it doesn't support TJ. Another thing is really like uh, I was fiddling around, and some of my sculpties or other sculpties have like a watermark, an alpha channel in it, and I, I tried to strip the alpha channel and uh, read the proper data, but <laughs> somehow uh, these browsers nowadays. They uh, don't know this trick or something. So, with uh, if your sculpty has an empty or a watermark, it will uh, sort of fuck up uh, the 3D model. It's really easy to to remove the alpha channel as well. Like I have here um, my sculpty that's sort of with a clear alpha channel here and. Yeah, basically what I do, if I'm now in the gym currently and uh, I can sort of deselect uh, the channels and then just fill in uh, the black uh, channel, the alpha channel and then the sculpt image appears and then uh, my browser can read it again so I now say overwrite it make sure you have backup copy people and then uh, when there's sort of the alpha channel isn't fucked up or uh, clear or with the watermark I can sort of drag and drop it uh, in my uh, viewer here and uh, scroll it around yeah I really want to add more tools currently this is just a uh, browser Sculpt viewer kind of thing. And, uh, yeah, maybe you can. Uh, sometimes uh, you can on the windows you can sort of zoom in and out with your mouse middle scroll wheel. Sometimes it will block it if you press the scroll function, and you can middle click it again to. Hopefully, yeah, there it goes again. And you can sort of view it to wireframe or uh, texture it. Phone. And, uh, it's sort of dull looking kind of thing. And uh, also, yeah. Second Life sculpties have like these uh, different uh, stitching as well. You can uh, it will uh, depends on the model, of course, like uh, this torus shape kind of thing. Anyway. Um, I decided to, to, to make a little makeover again and uh, now in the browser using WebGL and uh, yeah I really love to uh, add new tools and functions as well maybe uh, 
yeah, it would be nice if we could, could sort of make this uh, model higher resolution, smooth it, and uh, save this uh, Colada 3D mesh or something, you know, and um, that, that could be fun and uh, nice, and uh, I really liked the old point editing in uh, Sculpty Paint as well, so, uh, yeah. Currently, Sculpt Paint 2 will be all donation driven, so uh, if I, uh, it's supports now also uh, kind of uh, oblong sculpties as well, kind of thing, different sizes. The shapes, so would be nice if I could put uh, more editing functions in it as well and uh, export to mesh and uh, proper UV layout and stuff like that I, I really want uh, if I get some donation for it uh, I will develop it further into some kind of nice mesh tool kind of thing and yeah there are a lot of software and uh, programs around and uh, for me it's really sort of enjoyment and uh, fun kind of thing sort of uh, kind of uh, making 3d models and uh, that should be sort of easy to create and, uh, and still have sort of, um, yeah having fun creating 3d models and stuff like that anyway let me know if you like it. Uh, this is just a, a plain uh, sculpt viewer now in a browser for those old uh, SL sculpties and uh, like the old ones or oblong uh, ones, different sizes. And uh, if you have any ideas or suggestions, or uh, let me know. And uh, yeah, we'll see what happens next. <laughs> course uh, okay cheers bye wish you all uh, creative and nice creative week okay bye people